Hello class 8, let's continue our civics class. So we were doing chapter 1c, the judiciary. In the previous class, I told you about the judiciary, its meaning, its importance. And uh, the last topic we had uh, covered uh, was the original jurisdiction and appellate uh, original jurisdiction so today i am going to start with the appellate jurisdiction so let's start today's class okay let's talk about the appellate jurisdiction so the supreme court is the highest court of appeal so um, the <clears throat> person um, who is not satisfied with the lower courts or the high courts they can move to or uh, he or she can move to the supreme court and um, can appeal can file appeal right so uh, but there is no other court beyond Supreme Court so the decision of uh, the Supreme Court is final that is why Supreme Court is the highest court of appeal clear okay now next is advisory jurisdictions now the president uh, may seek uh, Supreme Court's opinion on the advice of uh, like uh, on a questions of law on the um, matter of public importance also but this is the supreme court it is up to the supreme court uh, that uh, the supreme court may give its opinion to the president right and uh, the opinion of the supreme court is not binding on the president okay let's talk about the supreme court as a guardian of the constitution so we know that supreme court is the final interpreter of the um, final interpreter we can say and uh, supreme court is what it is the um, guardian it is the protector of the fundamental rights also right so uh, it's written here it is the supreme law above uh, all men matters and legislation the supreme court is given the uh, power to interpret the constitution declare uh, the law and enforce the principles of checks and balances prevalent in the constitution so supreme court is what it's a guardian and the protector of the uh, constitution uh, it checks and uh, it also checks the validity of the law right what is right what is wrong uh, whether it's suited um, to the uh, people that it uh, is going to check right now next is supreme court as a guardian of fundamental rights so supreme court is also considered as a guardian protector of fundamental rights because um, if a person a citizen is violated is not has been violated by any individual or government or by any institutions in that case the person can move to the court high courts or supreme court and the supreme court um, issue an or uh, issue an uh, issue uh, a writ writ is a legal document um, or order in uh, order um, to uh, which is issue uh, which is issued uh, <coughs> Uh, which is issued in order to protect the fundamental rights right if somebody's um, office is taken illegally then that person um, uh, has right to move to the supreme court or the high courts for the um, to file the case and if uh, that uh, office has been taken by someone illegally then that um, the supreme court issue an order that is writ so in that case the uh, office uh, which has been taken illegally by other person that that person has to vacate that office right so these kind of like um, these are the examples uh, through which we can say supreme court is a guardian of the fundamental rights now, there are different uh, kinds of uh, rights um, writs of habeas corpus, writs of mandamus, writs of prohibition and your cure warranto and certiorari, these all are the writs, right? Now next is Supreme Court as a court of record. So Supreme Court uh, is also a court of uh, record. 
Its judgments are recorded for evidence. They are used as a precedence. It has the power to punish anyone for its contempt. So whatever the decision is given, that is uh, recorded as an um, evidence uh, for the future reference. Right? And secondly, uh, it has the power, the Supreme Court has the power to punish those who, um, uh, like, uh, or uh, to punish anyone for its contempt. Its contempt means those who disrespect um, the uh, court. So the Supreme Court has a right to punish that person. Right? Now, next is independence of judiciary. Independence of judiciary. So independence means uh, though there are three organs, uh, these organs of the Indian government, they are interconnected. But judiciary, the third organ, um, is that organ which is uh, kept uh, separately, right? So uh, so that uh, the other two organs, the legislative, uh, the legislature and the executive, uh, would not um, uh, affect or would not influence the um, third organ that is the judiciary. That is why the judiciary is what? It's independence from the control of executive as well as the uh, the um, legislature. That, that, that means the other two organs. This also means a fair, impartial, fearless, and honest judiciary. It should, mm, it should be above the uh, favor and uh, frown in giving its judgment and duty, uh, in doing its duty as a guardian of the constitution and rights of the people. So many provisions are there which ensures the independency of the Supreme Court. So number one, is appointment of judges so as we all know that um, uh, appointment of judges it's uh, it, uh, done by the president right uh, and other judges um, uh, the chief justice is appointed by the president and the other judges 30 other 30 judges are appointed by the president with a consultation of the Chief Justice. So, this is the independence of judiciary. Right? Now, next is security of tenure. So, security of tenure means once a person um, once a person becomes a judge of a Supreme Court, then he or she uh, will serve uh, as a judge until he or she attains the age of 65 years. Right? So, uh, Security of tenure, tenure means until unless he or she attains the age of 65 years. If I'm uh, 35 years right now and I um, being selected as a judge, that means I will be serving till uh, I uh, turn to uh, 65 years, right? And for uh, high court, the age limit is till he or she attains the age of 62 years. For Supreme Court judge, 65 years. And for a High Court judge, 62 years. Now, next is uh, the impeachment of the judges. If uh, uh, the, the judges of the Supreme Court at the High Court can be removed from his or her office um, uh, 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 on the grounds of like proven misbehavior, incapacity or um, violation of law in that ground they can be removed and uh, that should be but the resolution for his or her impeachment should be passed by both the houses in the parliament right salaries are consolidated next is salaries salaries are consolidated charged on the consolidated fund of India so their fund their salaries are never reduced Right now, next is no discussion with respect to the conduct of any judge. So, whatever the decision uh, uh, gives, uh, whatever the decision is given by the judge, that uh, decision or um, 
the that the no discussion shall take place in the parliament with respect to the conduct of the judge working of the judge in the discharge of his duty when a motion for his removal is under consideration right <laughs> next is punishment for the contempt of court so the court has the right to uh, punish those who criticize the or disrespect the court or lowers the dignity of the court prohibition of practice after retirement so after uh, the retirement that uh, we know that after 65 years he or she gets retirement or gets re um, after retirement a retired judge of a supreme court cannot uh practice in other tribunal or other courts right a retired judge of a supreme court cannot uh, practice any case in any court of tribunal in india right next is it's written here um, national judicial appointments commission njac is under the process to appear and transfer the judges to the higher judiciary this is the latest update now next is the high court court high court is the highest court in a state so in a state high court is the highest court there are 25 high courts in india ordinarily um, every state has a high court small states and union ter territories do not have separate high courts because they share the high court right they come under the jurisdictions of the high courts of bigger states for examples like the high court of uh, for nagaland mizoram arunachal pradesh is guwahati in assam right so some of the small states or uh, uh, they they share uh, the same high court for example nagaland mizoram and arunachal pradesh they share a same high court which is in guwahati in assam right now next is composition now composition of high court there are one chief justice and some other judges appointed by the president now in high court the number of judges are not fixed that depends on uh, like uh, that depends on the population as well as uh, the depends on the case right so the high courts consist of uh, one chief justice and other some judges so the number of the judges are not fixed right and these judges are appointed by the president clear now all the high courts do not have the same strength so as in supreme court there are fixed 20, 31 uh, judges one is chief justice and 30 are other judges that is fixed but in high court or high courts the number of judges are not fixed the strength is not same in the appointment of the Chief Justice of High Court, the President consults the Chief Justice of India and the Governor of the concerned state. This is important. For the appointment of the judges, um, the President will consult Chief Just Justice as well as the Governor of that particular state. Clear? Okay. Other judges are also appointed by according to the same procedure, except that the Chief Justice of the concerned High Court is also consulted. They hold office until they attain the age of 62 years. As I already told you that uh, the judge of the High Court uh, can attain the, um, his or her office until he or she uh, attains the age of 62 years right judges of one high court can be transferred to another high court they can be removed through the same procedure as in the case of judge of the supreme court so in on the ground of proved misbehavior incapacity or violation of law the judges can be removed as um, like the same procedure as the in the case of a judge of the supreme court qualifications must be a citizen of india secondly uh, must have uh, held a judicial office for at least 10 years experience right and have been an advocate of the high uh, of a high court for at least 10 years 10 consecutive years 10 continuous years he should also be a distinguished jurist in the opinion of the president right so these are the qualifications salaries a chief uh, justice is getting 
a monthly salary of 250000 and other judges are receiving 225000 per month and um, except these uh, except these they are also getting allowances also right which is the salaries are uh, based on or are charged on the consolidated fund of consolidated fund of india and these salaries their salaries are never reduced except financial instability in the country right jurisdiction same there are three types of jurisdictions as i told you in the supreme court uh, three jurisdiction are there original jurisdiction appellate jurisdiction and administrative jurisdictions so as i told you about the um, original jurisdiction of high court so here the case directly goes to the high court right when the uh, high court is hearing the case for the first time or in the first instant then uh, that type of jurisdiction is known as original jurisdictions so in original jurisdiction it has the power to issue directions orders including writs to any person authority and uh, any government within its jurisdiction against the violation of fundamental rights of the citizen so the case is related to violation of civil rights or fundamental rights right appellate jurisdiction it includes the power to hear appeals from the lower courts lower to high courts right uh, so uh, related to uh, like cases related to civil or criminal um, or um, criminal cases against the decision of lower courts so the high court so the high court uh, hears the appeal from the lower courts now next is administrative jurisdiction under its administrative jurisdiction it has the authority to supervise the working of all subordinate courts so all subordinate means all the uh, courts or uh, the courts lower to the high courts like district courts uh, lok adalat and other courts lower to the high courts right so uh, so um, it has the authority to supervise to look after the working of the lower courts lower to the high court right the high court is also a, a court of record and uh, has a power to punish uh, that person who uh, disrespect the uh, court or lowers the dignity of the high court right next is subordinate courts the subordinate courts so the subordinate courts as i already told you uh, the courts uh, which are lower in rank um, to this um, high court so they are just lower to the high courts so all the uh, local or uh, all the courts below the rank of high courts of the high courts in a state is called subordinate courts right now uh, these courts work under the supervision of the high court now in every district there are two types of courts in every district civil and criminal so civil court is the court which deals with the civil cases like will um, and your property case uh, will property divorce marriage and uh, when we talk about the criminal court criminal um, court which deals with the cases related to the uh, crimes robbery right so uh, this criminal court is also known by um, session court which court session court the highest civil uh, court in a district is the court of the district judge right and the highest uh, criminal court is the session court in a district right so the court of a district judge is the highest court in a district the judge is called the district judge while dealing with the uh, with the civil cases and the session judge as i told you session judge which deals with the criminal cases and crimes and the and your um, other robbery cases right so besides uh, these courts there are the courts of sub judges 
and munsif courts and the courts of small causes also like lok adalat your family courts and they uh, there are also courts of second class and third class magistrate also right okay now next is the appointment of these judges so the judges of a district courts are appointed by the governor of the concerned state in consultation with the high court now when we talk about the appointment of uh, the district judges so district judges are appointed by the governor with the consultation of the high court concerned high court right now a person has been a pleader or an advocate for 7 years or an officer in the judicial service of the union or the state is eligible for the appointment so this is the qualification right regarding position other than those of the district judges appointment uh, appointments are made by the governor uh, in consultation with the high court as i already told you and the state public service commission at least 3 years experience as an advocate or a pleader is one of the essential qualifications for these appointments right so at least he or she should have an experience of like uh, uh, experience as an advocate or a pleader in such a tribunal right or court we can say the district courts hear the appeals against the decision of sub judges so sub judges means lower to the main judges sub judges it hears cases related to the disputes of property marriage and divorce the civil courts exercise jurisdictions over such matters as guardianship of minors and lunatics so lunatics means so lunatic means um a person who is mentally ill so the cases related to the guardianship of uh, that type of person who is mentally ill or uh, the person who is minor not mature so that type of cases um, that um, so it's a um, so that type of um, cases uh, handled by the uh, uh, district court or uh, civil courts related to the Uh, these are the cases related to the civil cases so uh, these type of cases are uh, deal by the civil courts so civil courts exercise jurisdiction over such matters um, as a guardianship of those uh, immature uh, persons and uh, uh, mentally ill persons right so the civil courts exercise jurisdictions over such matter as guardianship of minors and lunatics right okay children uh, so we have completed this chapter here and uh, we'll continue uh, with the new chapter in the next video uh, just go through this chapter read out the chapter as much as you can and soon after this video you'll get the assignment complete that assignment and just send it back to my uh, mail id on time right So till then stay safe stay healthy thank you